And God has been saying to me, you can bring me your problems. Undoubtedly, you have heard people say this. Well, God has spoken to me and he's told me that you are to do such and such. Uh, Pastor, God has spoken to me and he's told me to tell you that our church needs to go this direction. And it is just ubiquitous out there in the evangelical world, whatever evangelical means nowadays, that God speaks to people in still small voices, maybe audible voices, dreams, visions, hunches, all of these things. And you hear this so commonly. Has it ever made you stop and wonder, what's wrong with me? You know, why don't I hear God speak to me that way? Is there something wrong with me? Is there something wrong with my relationship with the Lord? Do these people have a closer walk with God than I do? What's wrong with me? And if you have ever had those thoughts, I hope that this session will be an encouragement to you. If you want to hear God speak to you, there's one way I guarantee you, you will hear God speak. Read your Bible. If you want to hear God speak to you audibly, read it out loud. <laughs> but you can also bring me your thoughts. Now I'm at the point where I will pray about absolutely anything. Because, you know why I do it? Because Paul said I could. And he wrote the Bible. And I know you think there's certain things we're not supposed to pray about, but you didn't write the Bible. I don't care what you think about it anymore. Because Paul said, don't be anxious about anything. Listen to this. Pray in every situation. So in Greek, every situation means every situation. Isn't that deep? I got a degree in the Bible. I'm going to blow your mind. A porn addict can pray while he's looking at porn. We do not hear a lot of mm pulpit banging on the sin of pornography, which is a plague inside of the church. 68% of evangelical men profess to looking at it regularly, and the majority, that means over 50% of pastors, do the very same thing. Maybe that is why so few are actually willing to point a bony finger and say, stop sinning, because if you're living in a lifestyle of sin, a filthy sin no less, you better ask yourself the question, if you are on the broad road or the narrow road. For love's sake, for the love of your future spouse, I can tell you how much horror is going on at our church right now in marriages because some men and some women are hooked on pornography and they got hooked at age 14. And now they're 29 ruining their marriages.